Let's continue speaking about functions. This time we're going to talk about passing by value and passing by reference. When you pass something by value, that's just passed normally, and it's a parameter we're talking about here. So when you pass your parameters by value, you can change them in the function. But when the function actually is done executing, when you return to the point at which the function was called, and immediately afterwards, because you're done with the function, that variable is going to return to what it was. So outside of the, of the function, you're not really going to be changing that variable or any variable that's passed there. As you can see, that's what we've been using. And because I know I can't change it, I don't need to change it internally, but you could. And maybe you could set up temporary variables inside as well to deal with that and not really worry about passing by reference or value. You can't change it. It's read only when it gets back outside. You can change it, but it really doesn't make a difference because when you get back out, it's not going to help you there. It's not going to change. If you need a value and you don't want to pass anything using the return statement, you need to use the ampersand here, which means to pass the parameter by reference. And that means you can change the variable inside the function. And when you return from the function, it's going to be updated and changed. You're referencing the original variable itself. So you're changing it and it's really changed live. So here, for example, we have dollar sign array, which is the array variable. And we actually reverse it and give that value back to the original array. And then when we come back out of the function, it's going to be changed. So right after we call it here, and that's check array two, as you can see, check array two, it's called AR is passed and then AR is received, it's returned back out, meaning that it's going to continue having the value that was changed in the function, and when we echo it out again, it's going to be different this time. And if we look here at the bottom, you see that this is what we passed. It's reverse of what we started with, but it's actually the same thing that was echoed out with the array two. If you've been following along with the other examples, it's still the same using and defining functions file. And then we reverse it and you see that we have the output here. So we changed it. You don't have to use the return statement. It's up to you. Sometimes you need the return statement to do other things as well. For example, we have one, two, three, four parameters here. Two are by reference, meaning that we can change them. This last one is not changeable. And this Boolean is serving as a calling routine that's going to return the opposite here. We're not going to pass it back out by reference, but we're going to return it, return the value. And I'll show you how that's output. So we just update the strings here and update the value and try to change this as well. And then we actually call it down here, booleans here, and the other variables are set as well. And so we set the variables and then we echo them. And then we actually call the function, return bool, update bool that way, the old return way that I mentioned, do something as the function, we pass in true, just the value, s1, i1, these are going to be passed into these two parameters, changeable, and then the last one, not changeable. So this isn't going to be returned out. We do echo it, and we'll see what happens. And there you go at the very bottom, we echo that Boolean value of one, which is true. This variable and this variable both were updated, but it's not present here because this is just what we had as our source. And this is that last string that's passed. So these are our source values and you're going to see that it's going to be changed if you look at the lower line. Boolean is updated to false and it's not visible because we know that Booleans that are represented with echo and print are not going to show anything for the false value. We have this I am changing forever. It is changed. 999 is the other value that's changed. And now we have this is not changed because it wasn't passed by reference. It was passed by value. So very easily you can see how powerful you can make your functions. You can manipulate things as you need to. Be careful with the reference. If you don't want something to be changed, you don't pass it by reference. You don't allow the function to make that change for you. You make it read only for the most part in the way that this is going to only be read only when it gets back to the original place where that function had called it. So just keep that in mind, but it's very powerful to be able to do that.